Welcome back to Test Lucky, the YouTube channel where you can follow the adventures of Lucky the Tesla. It is March 18th, 2020. Actually, it's not March 18th, 2020 anymore. It was this day we were driving on Highway 10 heading east into Florida on our leaving Las Vegas road trip when we were moving back from Nevada to Florida and everything was going crazy in the world with the coronavirus, so we had to get back to Florida as quickly as we could. We made the drive in four days, and today's video is gonna show you a little bit of day three of our driving, and we'll share some data and share some stories and share some pictures of our experience with our get from point A to point B road trip in a Tesla as quickly as possible uh, video. So, but first, if you already love Tesla, if you're thinking about buying a Tesla, or if you're just curious about electric vehicles in general, please subscribe to our channel, Teslucky, and click the bell for notifications. We post videos about once per week. All of our videos are Tesla related. We thank each and every one of our subscribers. We're getting very close to the 400 subscriber mark, and being a subscriber is the best way you can show support for a little channel like ours. So as you can see here, we are heading into the great state of Florida. This is the uh, state border right there. Uh, the first thing we're going to show you in this video, uh, Carly's going to join me for the voiceover. We're going to show you Defuniac Springs, which is one of our favorite supercharging stops that we have ever been to. And then I'm going to cover the Teslastics data for the day of driving and charging. We'll show you some pictures of the other superchargers that we went to. And then we'll wrap it up with some autopilot driving footage going through the downtown area of Mobile, Alabama. Hey, I'm here. Welcome to Definiac Springs. We're going to show, be showing you a lot of cool stuff. Here's me in front of Lucky while we're charging her. I look very messy. My hair looks naughty. Here's what it looks like. I was playing with some ducks. I don't know why I was playing with ducks. I you just weren't was. playing with them, Carly. You were chasing, chasing them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how I play with my friends. So the water was super pretty. I love it. It was gorgeous. It was like reflecting and... All that jazz, as you can so showcase here. Oh, look at my little duck friend. That's a turtle. That's a turtle. Oh my God, that's Tammy the turtle. Remember they had the Tesla logo on their back? You thought you saw that in their shells? I thought I did. I don't remember though. Oh yeah, but you get the point. Super duper pretty here. Recommend if you happen to have one of these stops, come here. Get some fresh air. This is in the Florida Panhandle in North Florida in between it's, Pensacola and Tallahassee. It's not that hard to social distance here. You can walk out into the water as you can see here. They have this little exercising and I was balancing on it. They ha also had a nice swing set. Oh, and I was doing a mini photo shoot on the swing set because I was like that. I thought that far. I love pretty. this picture of that you, Carly. I'm going to use this picture for the thumbnail on this video. Okay. No, use that picture for the <laughs> thumbnail. <laughs> There's me, and now here's me in slow mo swinging my legs back and forth. We had a lot of fun shooting these uh, yeah. slow mo videos. It was, as you can see with the lighting, it was almost, you know, sunset. Super duper pretty. It was a really, really pretty time to like take a break, walk around the lake, you know, and as the driver, it's just a great idea to get out and, and get stretch your, child. your legs and get your child out of the back seat of the car. I've been probably, I was on TikTok for like freaking <laughs> five, probably like 10 hours that day. Probably, probably were, but not every uh, supercharger has a beautiful lake and playground like walking well, distance. Well, I was about to say it's not on it. You have to walk to it. So 
If you don't like walking, I'm so sorry. Yeah, you, you, it's not that far of a walk, though. I mean, it only takes about five minutes to uh, yeah. to walk to this Here's lake. Here's a back view. Oh, I can't wait to see my head. The hair, though. That's like the start of my not hair. Yeah, this was actually the start of your uh, coronavirus Because, look, my hair, hair looks fine there. Yes, I think it's only been uh, yeah, maybe a gorgeous. week since you had brushed it uh, <laughs> at that point. Probably it was two weeks. <laughs> I think it was like a month without brushing. Defuniac Springs. We have been to the Supercharger twice, once on our drive to Las Vegas and once, uh, of course, here on this Can day I tell as we a were secret? driving back. I haven't brushed my hair recently because my hair is not that long and I can easily brush it. So. You like having short hair so you don't have to brush it as often? Yeah. I think your Whoa. hair looks amazing in this uh, <laughs> yeah. in this uh, we should video. should start a podcast. We should start a podcast? It's enough work to maintain a YouTube channel. What but would we podcast about, Carly? Tesla stuff, our family life, our relationships, secrets about Teslas. We can expose our family. <laughs> I don't know. For the time being, let's just stick to YouTube if we get because, a, okay. you know, Carly, I have a hard enough time keeping up with Instagram and Twitter. Aww. Hey, I was so sick that day. Don't I, oh I look God. like I was sick? Not really. Oh, there's my friends. We're saying goodbye to the ducks on yeah. our way back to the superchargers. Comment, a th if we get a thousand subscribers, we'll start a podcast. Oh my gosh. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the little town of uh, Defuniac Springs. It's it is dead. so quaint. It's dead. It kind of reminds me of like Radiator Springs or Back to the Future. Um, look here, you can see there were businesses already closed uh, due to COVID-19. This was back on uh, March 18th. And the sun was setting on Defuniac Springs. Seriously, one of our favorite supercharger stops, right, Carly? Well, my favorite supercharger stop is my house. Okay, that's a good, <laughs> that's a good one. Time for the Teslastics data, which will show all the information about our driving and charging that day. You use the referral code TESLUCKY on teslastics.com. You can get a free month trial. I, I love this data. Um, love it. Take a look at the map here. It shows the route we made going into from Monroe, Louisiana through Mississippi and Alabama and in to North Florida back on uh, March 28. So this day I drove about 10 hours and 13 minutes. Uh, Teslastics actually shows seven hours and three minutes of charging but that includes two hours and 15 minutes at a supercharger right next to the hotel where we spent the night so it was really only about five hours a little bit under five hours of charging so about 10 hours of driving for about five hours of charging that's pretty standard you know drive for two hours take a break for an hour and as you could tell from the Defuniac Springs uh, pictures and videos, we do like to make the most of our breaks and, you know, get out and stretch and kind of see the world. It's part of the adventure uh, in a Tesla, in our opinion. But this data here breaks down every drive we made, every charge. Like, for example, it shows at the charging stations what percentage we were when we arrived and what percentage we charged to, you know, how long it took. Uh, it was fantastic data on every drive and every charge. I'm going to show you um, some more of that here in a second. I am looking for the drive here that uh, we made. I'm going to show you the little car on the map uh, drive uh, heading for into... Um, okay, this is the drive from... Uh, into Mobile, Alabama, you can see here that I made a wrong turn. I was uh, actually like quite sick this day uh, driving and missed the uh, turn and it happened to be one of those turns where, you know, the next exit was like, you know, 12 or 15 miles up the, uh, the road. You'll see the uh, wrong turn uh, again here on the uh, the little map i love this cute little car uh driving on the map what was kind of ironic though about me being uh sick and missing the uh exit and having to do that like long uh u-turn there was that ended up pulling into this uh, supercharger with 
4% uh, battery, which is a little bit, uh, you know, it's a little bit tight. I don't really personally feel a lot of range anxiety uh, driving in the uh, Tesla, but because um, the car said we were going to make it, I knew we were going to make it, but, um, you know, I think rolling into a supercharger above 5% is, uh, you know, that's kind of my preference uh, whenever uh, whenever it works out that way. Um, but you know, occasionally it's been down to two or 3% here. It was down to 1%. I just find it amazing here that the temperature inside and outside the vehicle, that temperature is like documented with this amazing car on a road trip and Teslastics gives me, you know, a permanent, you know, archive of all of this data so I can go back and, you know, analyze everything, you know, 16 ways to Sunday, should I see fit. So here we were pulling into the charger in uh, Mobile, Alabama, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull up the charge data for that particular charge and show you, um, show you some, uh, show you some of that. So let's go back to this other screen and uh, double click on the actual charge there in mobile and you can see the map everything that was around us we charged for an hour and two minutes and that took us from four percent to ninety percent and i just love the charge summary here there's you know probably like 10 different you know data here it does show the um, strength of the charge we were up to in kilowatts per hour i think it's uh, 133 134 kilowatts an hour and how it, this graph you know shows how the car charges faster when you're low battery and then it's progressively um, slows down the speed when you get to about 80% of uh, battery it uh, comes down a little bit more and right around 90% it, it then charges really really slow for that last 10% what they're hoping is that Tesla drivers will charge to about 70 or 80% and then get on the road and uh, just stop with greater frequency versus charging all the way to a hundred percent So love that free supercharging for life always enjoy seeing uh, zero kilowatts uh, per hour on my charge data So now you can see lucky in action We are in autopilot here on highway 10 heading east into Florida that is downtown Mobile, Alabama that you can see off in the horizon there in case you've never been to Mobile, Alabama. We'll take you there with us uh, right now back on our journey March 18th of uh, this year. As I mentioned, I was uh, quite sick this day. Uh, driving 655 miles is no fun when you are sick. I mean, we made it fun in Defuniac because of the, uh, the lake and everything, but um, yeah, okay, first of all, we're going into a tunnel here. Now, tunnels are cool, but they kind of creep me out. Uh, how do you guys feel about tunnels? I both like love being in them and like hate being in them at the same time. It's not really like claustrophobia, but I think it's just more like flashbacks to like bad things in movies uh, tend to happen in uh, in tunnels so just uh, I don't know just freaks me out a little bit uh, being in tunnels and thinking about all the water like going over the tunnel really quite amazing that uh, human beings can uh, can build uh, tunnels is quite fascinating okay back out of the tunnel now I, I was just saying that if you're going to have to drive 655 miles when you're sick, you want autopilot, trust me, on this one. I just don't think I could have made this drive. This whole four-day get from Nevada to Florida as fast as you can trip um, while sick, could not have done it 
without autopilot. And I know I probably say the same thing in each one of these uh, videos. Autopilot just really like makes the driving experience more relaxing. Your mus you're not using your muscles in the same way that you would like traditionally like driving the car and it just it's safer it's easier and autopilot is just uh the best many of you uh watching these videos that already own teslas um i'm sure you know exactly uh what i mean and if you don't yet have a tesla getting a tesla for autopilot one of the single best reasons that you could ever consider um saving up for that tesla down payment so here we are on a bridge now we're heading into pensacola from the uh mobile uh downtown area this was a very scenic part of the drive uh with the water and just um we were almost in florida and starting to get you know excited about uh being back in our home state again I know uh, no one will have been more excited uh, than Storm to get into Florida on this particular day. And about a week after we made this uh, drive, the uh, state of Florida set up roadblocks on uh, it was 75 uh, coming into the state from the north and on Highway 10 going into the state from the west and where they were starting to stop people and you know people coming in from different uh states different regions like at that point it was the northeast you know had to uh self-quarantine or not enter the state so we uh, we got back just in time and you know it was just an interesting experience uh making this road trip with my husband storm in another car because he doesn't necessarily necessarily share the same enthusiasm that Carly and I have for like playgrounds with swing sets and lakes with like turtles in them when he's in road trip mode you know he uh, he just wants to get there you gotta respect that everyone's got uh, got their own perspective to the driving experience so we did a lot of what I called uh leapfrogging where storm would drive ahead to where the nearest uh, supercharger was and he would stop and you know get gas and get his food and use the restroom and you know do what he had to do and then when we arrived at the supercharger we kind of like saw each other compared notes on you know where we were headed and then he would uh, he would drive ahead and this was kind of handy at the end of the day actually because he would drive ahead and get us checked in to the hotel and kind of get everything set up and organized uh, for us and then Carly and I would you know basically like show up and you know like pass out on the bed because uh, we were uh, so tired uh, tired from the drive and tired because mostly because I was uh, sick Usually, if I'm healthy, I can, you know, drive for 12 hours in autopilot and still feel uh, remarkably uh, fresh at the uh, at the end of the day. But uh, but anyway, we made it back. I hope that you've been enjoying the format of these videos. We do have one more day of driving in our leaving Las Vegas uh, road trip series uh, that is going to be driving from Live Oak, Florida, all the way down to Big Pine Key. I will uh, do my best to get the, the footage and everything organized uh, with that video um, within the next couple weeks. It's actually funny how, you know, we got back to Florida on March 19th, and I really thought that all four of these videos were going to be produced uh, and published on YouTube, you know, within a matter of a couple of weeks but that <laughs> turned out uh not to be the case you know even during quarantine sometimes uh things just get you know really busy and it uh, takes a while as i said in the video we posted about our one year anniversary on youtube with tess lucky i have a tremendous newfound respect for the amount of time and energy that it takes to maintain a YouTube channel and grow an audience and 
shoot and edit and post uh, videos, but we are having so much fun uh, with this channel. We thank you so, so much for watching, for subscribing, for supporting our efforts here. And we are also really, really enjoying uh, being a part of the Tesla community. Uh, Tesla drivers are just uh, incredible people and I've really enjoyed getting to know some of our subscribers as friends in the comments. People have like shared so much information. I still keep learning more and more about Tesla and more and more about Lucky uh, every day. So thank you again for being here on our channel and watching this video. I'm going to go ahead and cue links in the top corners to the first video in our Leaving Las Vegas road trip and also to the playlist of our 10 most popular videos. See you in our next video.